Yeah, 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 yeah. Bama Jam. Back at you again with another one. Three scenarios I want to play out for you. Stay with me so it don't fly over your heads. If I offered you one of two suitcases full of money, but one had $20 in it and the other had $20,000 in it, which one would you want? Which one would you take? If you sing and got a working brain, the $20,000 suitcase, of course. One more. If I offered you one of two homes, one fully furnished and 5,000 square feet, the other one, 500 square feet, no furniture. Which one would you want? Which one would you take? If you got a working brain and sang, the 5,000 square foot one, of course. There's a navio. If I offered you a doctor's degree with $200,000 job attached to it, or a high school GED with a $20,000 job attached to it, which one would you want? Which one would you take? If you sang and got a working brain, the doctor's degree with the $200,000 salary is the one you take, of course. If that's how you think and feel on the obvious, then why all of a sudden, when it comes to the great GOAT debate, real world logic and sanity goes out the damn one. I hear Stephen A., Skip Bayless, and all those so-called basketball savants talking about Michael Jordan is here and LeBron James is here. Let Bama Jama break this down for y'all. First off, let's set the parameters for the argument or the debate, however you want to call it. Any damn body. That's an inch away from being seven feet tall or over is disqualified. That's right, disqualified. Let me get a roll tight. Reason being is that the person or individual is damn near taller and bigger than 95% of the players they've ever played against. Victor Wimba Ham Sandwich Yada or whatever his name is. Is disqualified. The boy man is seven feet six inches tall. There might be only two to three people in the whole damn NBA that are his height. And he only got to jump an inch off the ground to do a windmill slam with the basketball. Yeah, he can dribble a little bit, but he's always going to be playing to an advantage. So he should dominate. Same goes for Shaq. He was bigger than everybody. Big old joker. He liked to put himself in discussion every now and then. But he disqualified to Kareem with the sky hook. Disqualified. Will Chamberlain with his 100 point game. Disqualified. By the facts and all these parameters I've set up, there are only three players in the history of basketball that can lay claim to the top spot. LeBron, Kobe, and Michael. That's it. Those three, nobody else. Somebody might even say, Bill Russell. He got 11 rings and was only 6'9". Same height as LeBron, which is a damn lie. Let me get a roll tie. Bill Russell was a legit 6'11". Proof? Look at the tape when he presented LeBron with his first finals MVP trophy. Even in his old age with a slump back, he was still about two inches taller than LeBron. And they were standing side by side. Hmm. 
first player on the list, which I rank number three, is MJ, Michael Jordan. He was spectacular. I got to give him that. Bama Jammer, watch him from North Carolina, Georgetown, find a full title game to his last game with the Wizards. Six championships, and some say he could have won two more had he not retired. I beg to differ. <laughs> the Bulls of that era always struggle, for the most part, against dominant and court savvy big men, a.k.a. David Robinson, the Admiral. Michael Jordan won six of them games and lost five. And the five he lost and the six he won, you got to understand, David Robinson didn't have nobody but him and a couple of guards, but that was it. Remember, it's a team sport, not an individual sport. But here's the facts. I saw MJ get eliminated from the playoffs for years. I think the Pistons beat him like three years in a row. Couldn't get around them until they got old and decrepit. And the old series that he played against Boston, he got swept both years. I tell you. Whew. That's seven times out of 13 tries. That Mike Jack, Mike, Mike Dunn made to the playoffs. And I tell you, he was eliminated before making it to the finals and winning six rings. So that's seven times he didn't even get there. And if we're doing the facts straight up, add them two seasons with the Wizards, they count too. Stephen A. <laughs> Let me get a road tie. That's 15 seasons that he played, and he only made it to the finals six times. But he won them all. And to put it bluntly, when MJ played in his era, he really only had to worry about four or five teams to contend with. Rest of the league was garbage. <laughs> Facts. Knicks and the Pacers was all he had to worry about in the East. And in the West, Jazz and Phoenix, that was it. Rest of the league was garbage. Second ranked player I got on the list is Kobe Bain Bryant. When I first saw Kobe, I was like, that little boy shoot too much. He don't never pass the ball. He this, he that. But one thing I saw about Kobe, ain't nobody going out working. Let me get a road tie. And that's one thing that sets him apart from most of his compadres that he played with. You wasn't going out with Kobe. Kobe, he was a ball hawk, but he was a great ball hawk. And that's what made him so great. He just didn't want to settle for less. And if he had to pass that ball to somebody who he didn't have confidence in, he wasn't finna do it. And hell, I got to get Kobe props because he the man that got Shaq out of town. He told management, look at him. I'm tired of this big joker coming in here every year, fat and out of shape. Getting in shape when the season going on. He need to come in in shape. And if y'all ain't going to put no pressure on him, get me out of him. Jerry Buss said, no, nah, we ain't going to do that. Shaq, see ya. Don't want to be. <laughs> and he was gone. <sighs> but anyhow, let me get to the cream of the crop. The man of the hour. The number one greatest player in the history of the NBA. LeBron King James. A.K.A. King James to the world of haters out there. Like I said, I watch all three of these players. And at the time I saw Michael, I was like, he the greatest. At the time I saw Kobe, I was like, nobody going out working. He great. But when the first time I saw LeBron, I was like, damn, that boy got something special. He got it. Let me get a roll tie. It 
is every damn thing. Best pass on the float. Best court awareness on the float. Best vision on the court. Best coach on the float. May not have been as spectacular in his dunks with all the twisting and turning like MJ and Kobe. But his power dunks were on par with Dominique and Dara Dawkins, a.k.a. Chocolate Thunder, the love child. <laughs> Let me get a roll tie. LeBron got put out the playoffs a lot, but the man had paid 20 years. 20 years. And out of 20 years, he probably missed the playoffs four at a stretch five times, if I'm calling this straight off the top of my dome. But I tell you, anybody that can make it to the finals ten straight seasons, you got to get that man props. Come on now. Let's keep it real. But anyhow, anyway, let me read off LeBron's accolades. Accolades. He's an all-time leading scorer. Most consecutive double-digit scoring games with 1,096 in Canton. Most first-team All-NBA selections, 13 in Canton. Most 20-point games in NBA history, 1,175 in Canton. Only player in NBA history with 30,000 points, 10,000 rebounds, and 10,000 assists, and counting. First Cavalier player to be rookie of the year and all rookie first team. Only player in NBA history to be top five in points, top ten in assists, and top ten in steals. Woo! Most all-time playoff points, 7,638 and counting. Most playoff wins, 182. Most playoff games, 282 and counting. Is the debate over? Anybody got anything else to say? From what I laid down, LeBron James got this thing hands down. End of discussion. No more debate. But I wrote a song about it. Want to hear it? Drop a few bars for you. Here it go. Give it up. I'm gonna tell you one more time. LeBron's the greatest of all time. Can't believe putting Mike at three. Where you putting Kobe number two? The facts say Bron hands down. Skip still hating now. We all know. Scoring champ for show. 20 years and a couple damn more. <laughs> Give it up. There is something wrong. Still thinking Mike's number one. The king to prove he's still that dude. All the records, man, let's do it. Give it up. <laughs> Let me get a road tie. Bama Jamma dropping them balls. Standing on Disney. But I tell you, debate is over. And we out of here. Coming back at you again. Standing on Disney. Peace.